The Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Welcome to episode 95. We are in season 7 and we have played 16 games in the Premier League and we are sitting second, which is beautiful. We've been having a couple of injuries, but we have still played pretty well. We have only lost three games, we have one draw, and we have 12 wins out of 16. So that is beautiful. So we're gonna hope we can continue this. We're gonna play the Leeds, and we're playing them away. Leeds is a team that are sitting almost dead last. They are 19th out of 20 places in the league. So this is a, you know, we, we have to win this one. We cannot draw this one. We should beat them. This is the team that's going to do it. Phil is still replacing Pratt, and he's going to be injured for almost two more months. And uh, it's tough, but Phil is a great striker, and hopefully he will continue to be one. I just want the three points right now, and I don't want any more injuries. So come on, boys, let's go. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leeds United and they face Oldham Athletic. Hi Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. What are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links. Oh, what an opportunity! The opportunity was there, but... They've regained possession. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Must be still a chance. Do this commentary. I'm thinking of going home. Just what they're thinking. And that pass could be troublesome. In it goes. The goal for one nil, and that changes the dynamic. The opening goal of the game, then. Played into the centre of the box. Not all that convincing defensively. And problem solved for now. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Firing it in. Keeper did his job to begin with. Offense. I don't think you can think anything else after that challenge. A deft clearance. Chance to run at them. Will he finish? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. So 2-0 now. Onto something positive, but it faded away. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. 
Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. We have a two goals to zero win away against Leeds on Allen Road, and we saw Field scoring both goals for all of them. Beautiful, we needed that. We only had six shots, four landed, two of them went into the goal, but Leeds did not even have a shot. That is. Well, our defense was. They were amazing, and when I'm saying defense, I don't mean just the defense line, I mean the entire team, from even the striker. Um, Reynos and all them, Saunders, all them, you know, the central attacking midfield, they, they played really great defense. They fell back and got clear of the ball, and, and it was actually, it was, it was fun to play, because it was one of those games when everything just fell into place. That doesn't happen that often, even though we could not create as many chances as we probably should have, considering the fact that we played against one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, a two goals to zero win is, you know, it's three points, and that's all that matters. Now we're going to focus on the Carabao Cup, we're playing West Bromwich away, and the rotation side will go in, get more, you know, get a game in their legs, hopefully, hopefully we will push through to the next round. I do not mind to go far in the Cups, even though we are not aiming for any beside the Champions League this year. And the Champions League is what we want to, we want to reach the final, <clears throat> of course, we want to win the final as well. And the other Cups, I've said that we will try as, you know, but we will play our rotated side. That's just how it is. The team for us that's going to play, we are, we can just see that we are in our red and white striped away kits. They are so beautiful and uh, playing West Brom on the whole thorns. We have Parr, Freeman, Rogers, Stone in the defense line, Newton and Briggs, central defensive midfielder. We also got Reynolds as a cam. We got Duarte and Benson on the wings and Phil up on top. Come on, boys. Let's go. Hello from the Midlands, we find ourselves at the Hawthorns. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And coming up, action from the quarter-final stage of the Carabao Cup. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they face Oldham Athletic. Well, this can be nervy, Derek. Quarter-final, knockout football. Who's going to blink first? It's going to be a cracker. They look a bit nervous, the players, to be fair, and why not? It's going to be a cracker. Thank you for attending the Hawthorns. Enjoy the match. Look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Interesting setup. It looks like 5-4-1, but flexibility pop. And threading it forward. And he could really get at the opposition. And there it is! The breakthrough! That One nil then. The lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. Speculative effort here. The eye to have lost the ball. Munio Shuya. Masterful piece of foiling. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will they profit from this situation? That is goalkeeping of... Real danger. Surely! Just found wanting in terms of the finish then. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? This looks threatening. And the goal is his! They lead by two now! Fully deserved! Well, 
Well, a second goal for them here. There's a slide draw pass. In position. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. It comes to absolutely nothing. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, Derek, it was almost a mismatch. They still had to get the job done, though. But not too much trouble seeing that bunch off. On with the go. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. We win three goals to zero and we keep a clean sheet again. We have a back-to-back -back clean sheet, which is amazing. First a two goals to zero win against Leeds and now three goals to zero win against West Brom, which beautiful. I had five shots, landed four, scored three. That's a really good one. They had two shots and they didn't even hit the target. If we can keep playing like this when we just force them out on the wings so they don't even get shots, then this is going to be a beautiful season. Not sure we're going to make, you know, be able to make that happen every time. Um, we've been playing really well t twice and like two times in a row, but <clears throat> yeah, you never know. We will try, of course. That's our goal. But yeah, been having two great games with not a lot of shots against us. The deep has been really well. We are now going to fo focus on the third game of this episode with playing Wolves home at the Boundary Park. A game we have to win. Wolves are sitting fifth, so it's, you know, it's a top, one of the top teams in the league. But if we win this one, it means that they are going to get a gap, you know. Right now they are, are 32 points. We have eight points more than them, we are 40 points. So if we win against Wolves, then we're gonna have an even bigger gap. We want to finish in the top four. That's where the Champions League places are at. If we miss out on the final this season, then we want to finish top four so we can actually reach the final in the next one. <clears throat> and it's looking good, to be honest. But we're playing in our classical blue and white kit, playing Wolves in their all whites. And we are gonna have the first team playing. Everyone is fit for fight besides Wang and Pratt who are out injured still. But it looks like we're gonna give them a fight for the points and let's go and get the win. This is really intriguing. The team with the best home record against the side with the very best away record in the league about to go heads ahead. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Oldham Athletic versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. One nil then. And I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Anfield. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Saul. And he might be through here. 
Well, a very easy offside decision. It's a minute 90. Good luck, lads. Glad it's them and not me. Not the best clearance. Macias. Could play it in. Well, he played that one really well. Able to close down the shot. And you don't want to lose possession there. This looks promising. Adama. Not a fan. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Crossing possibilities. No, high quality defending. Can they get in behind them? Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, good save. Corner to Wolves. What can they do with it? Over it comes. And nothing put. Not a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. A very effective challenge put in. I think, but it came to nothing in the end. Wonderfully weighted pass. It might still be problematic. And they are on the move again. Delivering it into the box. Just too close to the goalkeeper. 75 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Will it be? It must go in, surely. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. It's going their way, 2-0. Two attackers on, options available. They need to get bodies back. Courageous goalkeeping. And he takes on the shot. Oh, a powerful effort, close. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Well, you have to say, they did deserve the win. The two-goal margin might flatter them a little, but that won't bother them. It's three points in the bag. We win two goals to zero, and we we have another clean sheet. That three clean sheets in a row, which never happened ever for me. Um, beautiful. As I said, they well this time they got the shots. They had five shots, landed three, but didn't score. We had four shots, landed three, and scored twice. So two goals to zero win. Beautiful fact that we clean. I mean, we kept a clean sheet and it's the third in a row and that's just beautiful. I can't really say any other things than that the defense, and I'm talking throughout the whole team, not just the four in the back, are playing really great football right now. They are making, you know, it's, it's, it's just a joy to play this team right now <clears throat> because everything is just into place. And we, we keep on scoring even though we got Pratt injured. He is the you know the best goal scorer in the team by far throughout this entire series. And <clears throat> to have him out for three months, I thought that was gonna be horrible, but the guy stepped up, Field came back from on his loan to Liverpool and just he's he's been playing really well and scoring a couple of goals as well. So he's he's doing his job. We are now sitting first, as you can see, we passed Manchester City, and it's looking good. 18 games played, we have 43 points, we are 4 points ahead of the second 
position Manchester City right now. Liverpool chasing them, one point behind. We are playing Manchester City next. So, first against second. If we get a draw, beautiful. If we win, we will have a gap down. A bigger gap. It's, it's, we can't lose. That's just how it is. We have to do something and it's not losing. That's, we, we can't afford to lose. <sighs> Playing them in their classical blue and we are going with our blue, the darker blue. I think that will be okay to, to see the difference on the field. And uh, going with the best things we have right now that are not injured. And these are the guys playing. And these are the guys that's going to give us at least a point. Let's go for all three points. Let's be that cocky and say, <clears throat> let's go for the win, boys. Let's go to Etienne Stadium and get three points. Just let's go. It might be early in the season, but it's always significant when it's first against second, a game that could have a big say in who eventually wins the title. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to our coverage on what is a very soggy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City and they face Oldham Athletic. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. Played in there. And the danger is averted. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Next time there will be one shown. Can they put it away? And problem solved for now. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Can he keep his composure? And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Loses himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Showing his frustration on the sidelines. The opening goal of the game. Crossing opportunity. Joao Cancelo. Here's Bernardo Silva. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. Range like that. He's driven in the corner. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Oh, big chance. Is it going to be? Oh, what's a Foden? And he read it well defensively. Saul. Plenty of room in the wide area. Pulls it back. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. It's going their way. 2-0. They keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert. Oh, in with a chance. And as a defender, you're Phil Foden now. 
And that ball looks promising. Ronaldo Silva waiting in the middle. Joao Cancelo. Ricky Puig. Good defending to prevent the chance. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. In it goes! Crawley converted! So, back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. A goal kick as a result. An incisive pass, Richarlison, this could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Recover, terrible goal to concede. Well, as the game is re... Bernardo Silva, pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. No nonsense clearance. He's found a pocket of space. Chances on. Oh, surely. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Away. Real danger. And a really good diving stop. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. And firing it into the area. Just couldn't capitalise there. It's with Joao Cancelo. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. Ricky Puig. Foden. It might be on for them. And here's Cancelo. Still looking for space. Textbook defending inside the box. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. The journey home is going to be a pleasant one, Lee. Well, they didn't disappoint today. They are deadly in front of goal, and they produced again. They will have given the coach a heart attack with some of that comedy stuff at the other end, though. The defending was shocking. We win three goals to two away against Manchester City, which is this is just insane. We had four shots, we landed all four on the target, and we scored on three of them. They had 13 shots, <coughs> landed 10, and scored twice. They had 13 shots, landed 10, and scored twice. That I, I had to repeat that. That is insane. Wow. And we win three goals to two. Not really sure how, how, how that happened. Uh, right scoring twice. And <clears throat> yeah, Reynolds scored the, the third goal for us and we got three points and we have, oh my God, I'm just, I'm all, yeah, I don't have the words right now because you see we have a five point gap down to Liverpool. They went by uh, Manchester City who's now, they are, Seven points behind us, and we are five points down to to Liverpool. Nineteen games played. <clears throat> the episode is done. We're playing Bournemouth ne next in the next the opening of the next game or the next episode. But this episode is done. We managed to get three clean sheets. We won all the three ga four games. Sorry, I'm all excited. I can't even talk. And we won against Manchester City now in the last game. Three goals to two, and that is just amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, 
please do so leave a like and a comment i will answer your comment and you stay safe and take care and be kind to each other but until the next episode guys you're welcome